What's up everyone, it's Cameron, and I wanna talk about the grayed out buy button on Facebook Marketplace. Customers will sometimes go to buy your items and then message you saying, the buy button is grayed out, I can't purchase your item. And then what we'll do is we'll frantically go search for our item to see if it's grayed out and it's not grayed out or it is, and it can vary what type of reaction we get from the customer. It can vary what type of result we get from ourselves. And we're gonna talk about all of that. I thought this issue was kind of done, but I keep getting questions about it in the group and on my YouTube channel. So I wanted to cover it because I don't think I've really made a video specifically about the grayed out buy button before. So I figured I'd go ahead and make one for you. Now, what we're gonna talk about is the buyer's end and the seller's end. We're gonna go over both sides because it can vary from the buyer and the seller for who's at fault or who's having the issue at least. To start off, let's talk about the number one thing that's gonna fix most of the problem, almost 100% of the time, maybe 95% of the time, I don't really know. All I know is that my testing has done really well with testing this theory out and I haven't really had a problem ever since, and that is on the buyer end, they need to delete the app on their phone and then re-download it. It's really as simple as that. I tested this on five accounts and I had success with it 100%. All five accounts had the grayed out button, but across about 15 different accounts that I had access to, five of them had grayed out options when buying anything, which isn't always the case, but anything, which is most of the time what you're dealing with. So after checking on your end, log into an account, verify that the button is or isn't gray for you as well, and then if it's blue for you and you can buy stuff no problem, coach the customer through reinstalling their application. They may be able to just update it, but they really need to delete it and then reinstall it completely fresh from whatever their marketplace is for downloading apps on their phone. Now, when I first heard about this trick a while back, I know it's really not that complicated, but when I first heard about it, it made sense to me because I spent years, I think about seven years working in the cell phone industry um, at a store helping customers troubleshoot problems and get workarounds for issues they were having. This was a solution that worked and fixed most problems people had on their phones. It's really as dumb as the turning it off and on again situation, but in this, it's, it's actually reinstalling the app completely. Every time that I tested it and with customers that I've had do it as well, once I coached them through it, they had success. I really haven't seen anybody not be able to buy something after doing this. I really don't know if you'll even need any of the other options, but let's go ahead and cover those right now. Before we do, I do just wanna shout out to the things that I like to talk about. FBM Fox, always in the description with a coupon code if you wanna check it out. That's the dropshipping software I use that covers everything that I need. Also, I have a guy that runs Facebook automation for people and Amazon store automation. So if you're interested in that, email me at the email in the description. I always get people comment and say like, I wanna know more about that guy. And I'm like, did you watch the video? Cause there's an email in the description I told you to email me. Go ahead and email that so that I can get you hooked up on a Zoom call with him and we can get that process started for you. But let's get back to the grayed out buy button. Some other things that could be affecting a customer not being able to buy anything. Facebook may be punishing them for chargebacks that they did, even if it's just one or a canceled order or something like that. That can be a real big cause of why the customer might not be able to buy something. I have read and seen some cases where Facebook support has been contacted, which I know is all of our favorite thing to do is contact Facebook support because they're so reliable, but they have been contacted and Facebook has gone in and removed like a pending canceled order, or maybe it's not pending, but it's a canceled order that's finalized, but it's stuck in their system and it's reporting in Facebook. So it's preventing the customer from being able to buy anything. Facebook has gone and cleared those out from their history and then the buy buttons are enabled immediately. That's been a fix that I've seen online. I haven't experienced that myself, but I've heard of other people having that and correcting their issue as a buyer. Like this is all in the buyer end, let me clarify that. Another thing they can try is trying it on a computer or a different device. A lot of these grayed out buy button situations are most likely isolated to a cell phone. So if you can get rid of the cell phone and try it on a computer, most of the time people aren't having this issue on a computer. Now they used to, but nowadays that's really not as much of the case. But if it is the case for you and you just can't buy no matter what as a buyer or a seller that has a buyer having that issue, Sometimes the buyer's account is just restricted. And another way around that is they need to update their payment info. Their payment info may be completely okay. It may not be wrong at all, but they need to go redo it. They need to go re-enter their payment info and just hit submit again and re-update it. As a seller, I've had this issue. So if you're a seller, pay attention to this too. I was waiting for about $5,000 of payouts and I it was on an account that was working fine before and Facebook could not figure it out for me. They couldn't help. They just kept saying like, ah, you just got to keep waiting. But I was well past like 35 days. So no matter what, 
I should have been getting payouts at least if everything went wrong, I should have been getting payouts by 25 days. Well, I went in and updated my payment info with the same exact payment info that wasn't working previously. And sure enough, two days later, I got a $5,000 deposit from all that pending money that was sitting in there. Now, I bring that up as a seller issue because if that can happen for something as serious as that, imagine, and I've heard, it's not even just a guess, I've heard this has happened for people and seen testimony of it. It happens with buyers too. That that payment information gets stuck or just like refreshes wrong in Facebook system and it just gets halted and then everything's at a standstill and it causes a bunch of problems. So the grayed out buy button is a symptom of your bank account information being entered wrong. So when a customer does have that, there's kind of like a checklist you need to go through. First, they need to re-download their app, completely uninstall it, re-download it. If they're unwilling to do that, just tell them to try to update it. And if none of that works, try them on a different device. And then if none of that works, have them update their payment info. And if that doesn't work, then you're on to kind of your last option, which is taking payment outside of Facebook. Now, chances are you've already lost the customer by this point. If you've tried all those things, that's so much friction in the sales process that you're a customer following through with the purchase that they're that excited about, but it's that much of a hassle to buy it most likely it's not gonna happen. They will have searched it somewhere else by now and found it on Amazon or wherever your supplier is and most likely bought it from there instead. Sometimes that's not the case. I sell plenty of things outside of Facebook, but it's usually just not worth the hassle. Either way, if the customer's being nice and really working with me, I get them there. What I do a lot of the time is Venmo or Cash App. I don't mess with PayPal too much because PayPal and Venmo are the same thing. PayPal owns Venmo and I just deal with Venmo because it's a hell of a lot easier. I don't get the fee on my end like what PayPal does because you never trust the customer sending it to you without like the drop down thing, which Venmo has that too, but it's just a little more user friendly. So I like it. Cash app, same thing. They have to trust you after that though, because if they don't, they're not going to buy from you. So you need to have tried to help them, which at this point you should have, because a customer's not going to get that Facebook protection anymore. So they're drifting outside of the protection of Facebook and just trusting you, sending you money and paying for it. Same as you, you don't really wanna ship them something without Facebook being your middleman to hold your money for you. Facebook's like a broker at that point, holding it, holding that money in escrow while you wait for your product to be delivered so that they can give it to you. One of you gotta make the first move, so it's trust at that point. Either of you could get screwed in that situation, but most of the time it's fine. I've never had really any issues, but I mean, we have issues in Facebook. I can imagine if you ramp up the amount of sales you're doing outside of Facebook, eventually the percentage is gonna hit you where somebody's gonna scam your ass. Now, if you're the seller, there's less stuff on your end usually, it's pretty straightforward. Either you've been banned on Facebook, you've revoked your ability to ship because of being caught as a drop shipper or violating some kind of standard, or it's that payment information I talked about. Sometimes if your payment information's messed up in your marketplace account or your shop, Facebook has your items listed, but they've grayed out the button because they don't want you to sell anything with shipping. So. That can be a thing you try to fix on your end, wait a few days, see if it's resolved. You probably lost that customer who alerted you of the buy button being grayed out, but you should be good to go moving forward. And with all of that, that's where multiple accounts are key. You really gotta have multiple accounts so that when you do have this kind of issue, it's not that big of a deal. If a customer contacts you and tells you that the buy button is grayed out and then you go to verify it to find out that yes, it is indeed grayed out on your end as well with a different account, Then if you have another account that's selling or even a shop, you can list it and then just send them a link to that one and be like, hey, sorry, this account must be having some kind of issue with the processing. I have it also listed here. Feel free to just buy it from here if you'd still like it. Then your problem's solved. It's going through the same chain as everything else. You're not having to deal with all these other issues. But most of the time, like I said, it is usually the app that is the issue or the customer's account and they're having issues. So try those things and let me know how it works. Now that your grayed out buy button is fixed, make sure to check out this playlist of videos that I have of all the hot selling products I've sold in the past so that you can get new ideas or even try some of these products and sell them yourself like a lot of my viewers have and gotten great results from it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.